there's a samurai was flying to another nation and he had to stop in britain and take a train from i think britain to france and just that time that he stopped came down entered the train revival broke out in that city people have been interceding for 14 years Lester Sumra was the one that received the impartation from Smith Wigglesworth. In the night, he was sleeping by 2 a.m. and he heard noise downstairs in his parlor. When he came to check the noise, he saw a creature. He looked and saw the devil. He laughed. He said, when you finish, arrange the place and get out. He went back to sleep. Two mysteries about an intercessor. Number one, they have unlimited access to revelation. Number two, the jealousy of God surrounds them. If you touch them, you are in serious trouble. I'm not saying an apostle. I'm not saying a prophet. No. There is a, there is a level of protection allocated to anybody in the fivefold. But where you find an intercessor, the Bible calls them the apple of his eyes. God is jealous of them. If you try them, in fact, while you are concocting the charm, you and the, I had the story, <laughs> I had the story of a, a, a lady from a man of God. Somebody took her name to a babalao to do charm. So the charm is, you will say some things, go outside and blow the powder and come back. So the person went outside, blew the powder, came back for the second one. As he received the second one, instantly the native doctor dropped dead. No, God, God, ah, God is, is a wonderful person. So the source of the power, die. <laughs> to be continued. There are some people you don't touch. He said, he that touches Israel touches the apple of my eye. Ask yourself, why Israel? Do you know how he got that name Israel? He got it in the place of intercession. For as a prince, thou hast had power with God. And don't try an intercessor. Even if the person is before you in your office and you now realize later that this person is an intercessor, go to God and say, God, I beg, call your dog home. Don't try them. God will not ask what happened before he strike. He will strike first. There are people today who are suffering sickness. What your problem is you gossiped an intercessor. You don't know. That's why they pray and the sickness has not gone. You go back and repent and ask for mercy. Don't try intercessors. Some of the great generals of the faith that we see, many of them, more than half of their life is in intercession. Men like Derek Prince. He will not know these kind of people. Men like Lester Sumrall. Lester Sumrall was flying to another nation and he had to stop in Britain and take a train from, I think, Britain to France. And just that time that he stopped, came down, entered the train. Revival broke out in that city. People have been interceding for 14 years. There was a dark cloud of, 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 of demons over that city. For over 14 years, they've been praying and interceding. Nothing happened. No breakthrough. A man just came down to enter train. <laughs> Revival everywhere. Lester Sumra was the one that received the impartation from Smith Wigglesworth. Go and study his life. It was Lester Sumra that in the night he was sleeping by 2 a.m., and he heard noise downstairs in his parlor. When he came to check the noise, he saw a creature, like a dragon, shaking the whole place about. Devil himself came for him. There are people devil will not go to. They will say, this one, the generational cause in his family can deal with him. You are, you are not even producing. You don't have anything that can attract me, so just leave this one. He looked and saw the devil. He laughed. He said, when you finish, arrange the place and get out. He went back to sleep. This was the man whose book he wrote about the gift of the Holy Spirit and I think that's the most accurate presentation on the gifts of the Holy Spirit ever written in the body of Christ. This man. The man of intercessors. He was the one that laid hands on a, a dead prophet called Kobus Van Resburg. How many of you know him? Yes. He was the one who laid hands on him. He said, go to South Africa and shake that nation. And in 2000 and when... God's servant, Apostle Selman, went to see Prophet Kobus. Prophet Kobus laid hands on him and said, I connect you to the line of generals. Intercessors. Just start giving yourself to prayer for no reason. Keep one time. 10 o'clock in the morning, you are a housewife. You don't go to work nowhere. Children have gone to school. Husband have gone to work. You have finished cooking breakfast. Just that 10, even if it's just 15 minutes every day, do it for one year. Watch what happens. There are battles you will not fight. Your, your prayer will rise as a force to fight for you.